So here I am in my sample Google Classroom that I like to use in order to test how things look or see how things will work together when I am putting out something new in Google Classroom. And the reason I'm here is I want to set up some topics and show you what that looks like. So I'm going to start by going into classwork and you can see I've got a heading here that says science. That's because I already have one topic created. Right now it's showing all the topics. If I wanted just to show science, I could do that. But actually what I want to do first is I want to create a new topic. So let's go underneath the assumption of you are a self-contained classroom and you teach all four of our core subjects. So I want to add a topic of math. I want to add a topic of language arts and maybe you'd want to split that even further into grammar, writing, etc. And then I want a topic for social studies. Now when I post an assignment, so for example I want to do Ohio Studies Weekly number 43. And then here I want to add a link and now that is attached. So this is an assignment so again it's got to have points associated to it and a due date and it's worth 10 points for doing the articles. Um, the due date will be June 7th at 5 p.m. Now down here I want to make sure I choose my topic. Because again, by having topics, I don't need a Google Classroom for each one of my subjects. So this will keep it organized for me and for the students as long as I don't forget to use this drop down menu here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and assign this. And in the classwork list, you'll see it shows up underneath that heading of social studies. Okay, now I'll just do another quick assignment here for, I'll do it for math. So I chose my topic of math and when I tap on assign, now you'll see that fell underneath that topic. And when we go to the stream, you don't see those topics listed out separately, but what you do see is all of the assignments together. So again, I tell my students to use Classwork just to look for announcements from me and to go to Classwork in order to see their actual assignments. So now that I've got these two here, I want to show you a little bit of how you and your students can actually use the calendar and to-do function within Google Classroom to keep yourselves organized. So when you log into Google Classroom, you want to start by going to the three lines here in the top left hand corner. And when I tap on that, I'm going to go to that to do list. Now this is all of my classes. This is all of my work in progress. Okay, so I'm going to narrow this down to just my Hetman Homeschool. If I want to narrow it down just to my math class, I can do that. If I want to see all of them, to quickly look if there's anything that's been turned in, this is a nice place to do that. And this is where I kept myself organized to know what I still needed to get back from students and what I needed to grade. So this saved me time finding student work that needed to be checked. So I would come to my to-do list, leave it as all classes, and then I would look down at the turned in to see if there was anything that was turned in that I hadn't yet graded. And if students didn't mark it as done and turn it in, I didn't grade it. So that's teaching them that, right? They need to know that that is your process and procedure. But once you've taught that, and it will take a couple of weeks of reminders, once you've taught them that, it makes checking student work that much easier for you. At the same time, it also shows you where you might have some outstanding work. 
So back on the week of May 11th, I had a chapter eight introduction video for science where I had 22 that I graded, but one was still assigned, which means that I had one student who it's now showing as missing because he did not turn it in. You can see here, there's nothing listed for graded because these are all brand new assignments. The students haven't done any yet, so it hasn't shifted to a turned in, assigned, and graded column. It is just the turned in and assigned. So I can click on these. These are all hyperlinked if I want to click on these in order to get more detail. So for example, if I want to see the students that it's assigned to, if I want to review my instructions and maybe edit that, so I really encourage you to go to your to-do list and utilize the information that is here to keep yourself organized in terms of what you need to grade and what you need to track down from your students.